wasn't so bad. He was an art student. The wolf, as he was known back then, worked day and night. His work was never taken seriously. One day, when all the little pigs took up their artistic passions, they found success quickly and with little effort. The wolf became very sad and began to think of a new way to express himself creatively. Unfortunately, he found he was only happy when he destroyed houses, so he couldn't control the destruction he caused. No. Oh, I know he seems bad, but remember, we're all different on the inside. Not better or worse. We are all special in our own way. Oh, you know what that means, kids. It's time for advice of the week. This week, we're going to talk about camping. Oh. Let's meet our guests for the week. What are your names? Matthew Beavers. Sarah Smith. Susie Goldstein. Oh, well, it's wonderful to meet each and every one of you. Now, camping is one of the most fun ways to make friends and have fun. But we need to remember to be safe, safe, safe. Safe, safe, safe. safe. Number one, never go into the woods by yourself. You'll always be safest around an adult. Number two. While our woodland friends are fun to look out from far, far away, do not go near them or feed them. And rule number three, do not get lost in the wilderness. Hmm? Okay, kids, it's time for our dance party. Thank you for tuning in. Good night. Sorry, what? Can we get some cinnamon sandies? Please, please, please! Ugh! Cinnamon sandies? Those are the worst! I hate those! But I barely got to make your cereal last time! It's my turn! I already got you cereal! It's healthy! Sebastian's mom lets us get whatever cereal we want! Yeah, mom, and I never get what I want! How about if I let you choose your own desserts, we'll get my cereal? Okay. okay. Uh, can we get some Bob Bob Jubilees? <gasps> Hi! Oh, hello. Oh, 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 sorry. I'm Rebecca Waters. I was just watching your show this morning. Oh, my God, your skin's like silk. Oh, that actually my daughter was. Oh, well, it's lovely to meet a fan. <laughs> Great, so... Actually, my daughter was just telling me this morning that she would absolutely die if you were to come to her birthday party. Oh. I just... Which is this week? 
Oh, I'm flattered, but I couldn't possibly. I don't do private events. Oh. I guess you just don't care about kids. You see, I'd love to make your daughter happy, but it just wouldn't be fair to the other kids. Oh, I see how it is. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. And then Sarah took the bridge? No, uh, sorry, I mean stick. No, the wand for Rick, because he got younger, and the teacher got so bad. The master was seen anywhere the whole entire life. Well, what'd she do? Well, she, uh... She took the wand away from everybody Let Jeffrey else. finish his story. <clears throat> well, she took the wand away from Sarah and told everybody that nobody could play with it. Well, honey, that's a great story. So, I had this really nice talk with Paul Bachman today. <gasps> Paul Bachman? Is that the one who Wait, told me Bailey, to you? don't interrupt your father. <clears throat> Paul Bachman is the publisher of Arden Books. You got a call from Arden Books? Well, yeah. Well, no. Well, I mean, I called them. We had this really nice conversation, you know, about my book, and good news. Turns out, we're going to have a new editor. <gasps> Does that mean they're going to print your book, Daddy? No, son. It means they're going to make it more palatable for a wider audience. Make a few changes. Fix it. Oh. Yes, honey, that's absolutely wonderful news. Well, you'll never guess what happened to me in the store today. Uh, a fan came up to me and asked if I would go to her daughter's birthday party. Well, are you going to do it? Well, no, but that's not the point. It was just nice to be recognized. You know, Bob, the teacher tries to make us watch your show in class. But some people think it's boring. <gasps> ow, you ow! little bedwetter! Bailey, knock it off. <laughs> it's okay. Why do you think they think Honey. that? It's okay. Well, um, I don't know. Nice uh, one. Hey, can we get ice cream? I need ice cream first. I better All get right, some chocolate. All right, kids. Ice cream. <sighs> uh, 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 uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, oh, ah. Uh. Are you good? Yeah. Can you throw it away? Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm, I'm just tired. You sure? You seem a little absent. Okay, good night. What? I'm tired. No, there's something else. What are you talking about? That was more than just tired. What's wrong, Riz? Nothing. Are you upset about the kids in Jeff's class? No, it's not that. Well, what then? It's not important. That's not true. What are you talking about? Well, obviously it's important if you're upset about it. I'd have to be a really shitty husband not to say anything. No, and I'm saying it's not important. I wouldn't do any good to talk about it. I just want to drop it. I'll forget about it. Babe, what are you worried about? Why would that mom come up to you in the market if she didn't love your show? Just to be polite? It's not that. Well, what then? Come on, just talk to me, please. It'll help to talk about it. It's stupid. No, it's not. I just got really excited when you mentioned the book deal, but it wasn't anything major. What? I just got really excited when you mentioned the book deal, but you said it wasn't anything- Nothing major? Yes. Why the fuck would you say that? Well, it's your third time through editing. I just figured they would have moved on with the project if they liked- Why would they invest in an editor if they weren't interested? This is why I didn't want to talk about this. Well, we're talking about it now. Why would they invest in an editor? Babe, I'm not saying they're not going to publish your book, but... I don't know. It was just... Another round of edits was just underwhelming. I mean, it would have been nice to have a second income. Babe, what are you worried about? Tons of people watch Happy Hour, and, and parents like it too. But it's not like I want to be doing this show forever. You don't like it? 
no, it's not that. I love my job. I love making kids happy. It's just, I mean, I don't know. It, it's not real. Well, it's acting. Of course it's not real. You don't want to act? No, I mean the show. The character. It's just not real acting. I mean, I know if I had the chance, I could blow people away. But it's not like you don't have time to act. When? I'm doing the show eight hours a day. And when I'm not doing the show, I'm being a mom. And when I'm not being a mom, I'm writing the show. Well, I'll take care of the kids more. No, I don't want to leave them for this. They work perfect in my schedule. It just would have been nice to have a little extra money from the book so I could leave the damn show. Well, give it time. I'll get there. By the time I can leave the show, I'll be wacky Rizzo to everybody. I mean, I won't be able to act as anybody else. Well, yeah. <sighs> It's not worth talking about. Everywhere you will find friends And inside of every friend Is a heart and brain and soul That's really unique and kind Here at Rizzo's we're all one Underneath the morning sun Here at Rizzo's we will love each other Cause life is meant for fun Here at Rizzo's we'll learn knowledge So grab a friend and sing along Everywhere you will find friends And inside of every friend There's a heart and brain and soul That's really unique and kind Here at Rizzo's we're all one Underneath the morning sun Here at Rizzo's we will love each other Cause life is meant I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs>